Good morning, Dr. Karan here. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about um, epigenetics, how lifestyle shapes your genes. And so this is what we're gonna be talking about. Um, did you know that your lifestyle choices can literally switch your genes on or off without changing your DNA? And this is called epigenetics. It means, like for example, Identical twins with the same DNA can age very differently or why trauma and habits in one generation can affect the next. So we're going to explore that today and talk about some of the example, how sleep, food, stress, and even love leave chemical marks on your genes and what you can do to rewrite your health story. Okay. So think of DNA as a hardware of a computer. And epigenetics is a software that decides which programs run. DNA does not change, but epigenetic tags like a methyl groups or a histone modification, they control whether genes are active or silent. And that's what matters. So it's like a, a light switch panel in your house you can turn some light switch on and turn some off, right? So take, take an example. I'm going to give you a story about Sarah and Emily. So they're identical twins and they have the same DNA, right? And Sarah smokes, eats processed food, sleeps five hours a night. Um, Emily exercises, uh, eats whole food and she lives a very holistic life and age 50. Sarah looks like uh, and feels like 70 with diabetes and heart disease um, while Emily runs marathon. Um, so same genes, different epigenetic expression. So how the genes is gonna express in your body is determined by your action. So your action, the lifestyle choices you make will determine really to a large extent what happens. So even if you have a good genes, and if you're not making the right choices, you're not gonna get good result, okay? So every bite you eat sends chemical signals to your DNA. For example, um, green tea, turmeric, broccoli, um, berries, these foods activate tumor suppressor genes. High sugar, processed food, alcohol can silence those protective genes and activate inflammatory ones. There was a famous uh, study called Dutch Hunger uh, Winter. You know, babies conceived uh, during famine had higher risk of obesity and heart disease decades later. So a stress trauma, trauma and epigenetics. Chronic stress leads to high cortisol, methylation of genes, higher risk of depression, anxiety, and diabetes. For example, Holocaust survivor children showed epigenetic marks from trauma, prove that a stress leaves scars in genome. It gets passed on through generation. But the positive practices like mindfulness, yoga, uh, deep breathing can reverse some of these marks. Exercise and epigenetics, okay? So what happens? Exercise adds beneficial epigenetic um, tags that improves metabolism, insulin sensitivity, and even brain health. So in one study, just 20 minutes of cycling activated hundreds of genes linked to fat burning and reduced inflammation. So it's important to be active, very active. You don't have to be, you know, doing some uh, very exhaustive exercise, but active at least, you know, walking half an hour, brisk walking every day would do the job as long as you're consistent. Poor sleep disrupts epigenetic regulation of circadian rhythm genes. Think about that. A poor sleep disrupts epigenetic regulation of circadian rhythm genes. So night shift workers show accelerated aging markers compared to day workers. So getting seven, eight hours of quality sleep restores gene balances. So the reason I am doing this video uh, is um, to make you understand and give you some information, empower you. 
so you understand the life choices you are making is, is gonna shape your health, not only your health, but for generation to come. And uh, the most empowering fact is that epigenetic changes are reversible. If you stop smoking, stop drinking, within months, the protective genes will reactivate. You start eating healthy food, healthy veg veg vegetable, cruciferous veggies, anti-cancer genes turn on. Daily walking, heart protective genes activate. So, what I wanna say is that your DNA is not your destiny, it's your daily choices. You are the author of your health story. What you eat, how you move, how you sleep, and how you handle your stress, literally writes instructions for your body. So I hope this inspires you to make healthy choices and right choices, and share this video with someone um, who believes that they are stuck with bad genes. And remember, lifestyle is the most powerful medicine. Your goal should be not to be on any medication or not see any doctor. Get a yearly clean bill of health so that um, you're enjoying your life and not taking medicine, but you are disciplined and um, living holistically, making good choices and living a healthy, uh, productive, fruitful life. So thank you for